Girls of Reddit what makes a guy creepy? When they don't take no for an answer. Actually had a guy say I don't take no for an answer to me after I told him I didn't want to go on a date with him. I walked away from him and back to my office, this was in a college campus building. Had a horrible feeling the rest of the day. Fast forward to quitting time and I have to walk half a mile to the parking garage. I see a co-worker about to head that way and asked if he didn't mind walking with me. Turns out the student followed us there and tried to get into my car when I unlocked it. Thank god I had my co-worker with me who scared him away. Edit. Yes. The campus police were involved and the student was identified. He was banned from the building I worked in. Turns out two other girls had filed complaints about him as well. He followed one poor girl to her dorm apparently. Comma I honestly do not know what happened to him. I never saw him again. When guys try to separate you from your friends. Like you're in a group and a guy suddenly pushes his way in and blocks you off. I once experienced a wall of men. One guy at the bar started chatting with me and when I looked around I realized that all his buddies had blocked us in. Facing our way into the crowd. After 20 minutes of small talk the guy asked if I wanted to get out and I said yes. He tapped one of his buddies on the shoulder and he let me get past him. I'm 5 feet 2 and they were all 6 feet. When I finally found my friends they said they had all done a lap around the bar looking for me. But of course I was behind the wall of men. Don't do that. No self awareness or notion of personal boundaries like when guys follow you around public places or follow you home intentionally and don't seem to understand what's really unsettling about that. I don't know if it's because I live in a big city. But this is surprisingly common. Telling me personal things about myself. I had a guy at my old job mention that I took a different route to work one morning. Then he said a mix of letters and numbers. When I asked what that meant, he said that's your license plate. Right? Full stop. Another time he was standing behind me at the time clock and said my clock in code before I entered it. Also he cornered me in a room and tried to kiss me. It was so awkward because his wife was my supervisor. And I was his superior, I was the nurse and he was the CNA. On top of that I was a new nurse and not at all comfortably in my role yet. I ended up telling my co-workers to keep us apart and make sure he didn't follow me into rooms after that last part. Very creepy. When they consistently ask you out after about 3 times it gets excessive and creepy plus if they try to contact you through more than 2 platforms then it's creepy as well. Blocking exits. Please leave me a path to get away from you if I want to. When they only talk about SX or make every exchange about SX. Repeatedly trying to pursue you after you've told them you're not interested. Guy. Go out with me. Me. Nano thanks. I'm married. Guy. So. By far one of my least favorite interactions. Also staring. Uninterrupted staring. It's worse if they don't even come talk to you. Makes me scared they're just going to follow me. Edit. Yes. I know some people zone out and stare unintentionally. For me. It's pretty easy to tell the difference. And I move around some to see if their eyes are following. If they are. They're staring. If not. They're zoning. Constant. Uninterrupted staring. Or when they get way too close to you when talking and kinda hover over top of you. Edit. I do not mean accidental eye contact. Eye contact when speaking or passive looking, when you're daydreaming and don't actually perceive anything. I mean direct staring. When a guy won't give you your space even when you implicitly or explicitly make it clear that you want your space. Without giving too many details. When I was younger. This sweet guy became creepy to me because he wouldn't leave me alone even when I said I wanted time to myself. If they can't respect your boundaries. Get out and fast. Edit. For context. This happened when we were kids. But it still applies. I told the guy outright to leave me alone. At first saying I want to be alone for now. Eventually. I told him to just leave me alone outright. And it took more dodging on my part for him to get the message. 
when you can tell they don't look at you like a person but like a conquest. I have this guy at work who's a little weird but every time he talks to me. It's like his preconceptions of who I am and what I think are all he sees. It's annoying. I see you online. Who are you talking to? Full stop. Not giving up after you said no more than once. If he follows you everywhere and tries to sniff you or touch you. When if you don't reply immediately he gets sad or needs something from you or texts. To make you feel bad. Speaking from personal experience. When much much older men think that all the young women want to have sx with them. I've worked with a few men like this and it really creeps me out especially when they look at a young woman and lick their lips. Leaving notes on the windshield of your car. I've had at least a handful of guys do this. And let me tell you, it is not cute. It is not endearing. It is not all. It is. However. You've creeped me enough to know what my car looks like. Where my house is. Where I work. And where I do my grocery shopping. When they just stand like Riala close to me when I'm just trying to talk. Or asking a lot of questions about my personal life when I hardly know them. Also watching me walk by them whispering to their buddies all around them. That really freaks me out. The creepy lines. I will mention I rode horses I've heard of responsibly bet you rode those horses real good while licking their lips and winking. A mix of what they say and demeanor. When he doesn't have good boundaries or doesn't take no. Developing feelings too quickly. I understand what it's like to be a person who falls hard for people. But there's a line. Like when you're talking to someone on a dating website. You've only exchanged 3 messages and the guy says he loves you. That or guys who try to give you shoulder rubs. No random man. I don't want you to touch me. If you don't know them. Staring at you for too long. Trying to hold your hand. Insisting on showing you something or taking you somewhere. Big red flag. Laying their hands on you. Like. Not accidentally. On your belly back close to private parts. Still flirting. Or trying at least. After you've rejected them decline told them you have a boyfriend. Bonus point if they keep trying if you are a lesbian and just told them that you literally have a girlfriend. Close bracket. Edit. Saying random s's or innuendos with when I don't know you. Why do you think I want to hear that? Saying hey cutie. And then giving all sorts of insults from wh re to prude when I say I'm not interested. Especially when they don't realize that I. A very white girl. I'm not fluent in Spanish. When a man starts checking you out while he's right next to his girlfriend or wife. This gets a creepy stamp of approval from me. I am guilty of that. I'm fact one of my girlfriend's friends caught me staring at her and confronted me and my girlfriend about it. My girlfriend starting laughing about it. I explained that while yes I was staring. It not what she thinks. I was admiring her style and makeup and wanted to imitate since I cross dress. Not taking no for an answer. Not respecting boundaries. Treating humans as anything other than human. The goddess thing can be totally creepy. Putting their hand on your lower back or side as they move around you or to let you know they are there. I don't even care when a co-worker occasionally touches my butt or boo but work when it's clearly an accident because we all work in close proximity. Doing it on purpose however. To only the young girls. Instead of using your voice or a touch to the shoulder to alert of your presence is intrusive. Unnecessary. And alarming. When a guy is pushy. Flirting. Whatever. Using any excuse to touch me, like sliding his hand across my lower back when walking past or trying to get by me. Staring of course. Especially in the gym. Suddenly asking personal questions like do you have a boyfriend? Do you live alone? Asking for nudes. Sending unsolicited nudes. Being called sweetie. Sweetheart. Honey tc by a man I don't know always creeps me out. Don't I get a hug? Any dude that tries to guilt me into hugging touching him is creepy. 
repeatedly calling us beautiful and comparing us to other women we know. Sure. It's cute if you're already in a relationship. But when you're not. It's actually really creepy. Especially if it's multiple times in one day. Edit. Since this has blown up more than I thought it would. I'll provide some backstory. This is based off of something that actually happened to me. The guy is what most people would consider attractive. Tan skin. Dark hair. Started out really nice. Went to the gym a lot. But he wouldn't stop saying how beautiful I was and compared me to my co-workers. Kept trying to buy me gifts. It made me exteringly uncomfortable and I felt creeped out. Making inappropriate s or jokes when there was absolutely no need for it. When they say smile. Dude. I'm not here to make you feel good about yourself. I don't even know you. It's a multitude of aspects. And a lot of people have touched on some of the points. Another point is the nice guy expectations. There's a fine line between caring for your friends and, creepily, trying to take care of a girl. The difference is often in the intent. If you are nice to someone for any reason other than like common decency and basic care that you would give to any other person. It's creepy. Saying things like women like this and women don't like this as if we're a hither mind. And you happen to know women's experiences better than them. I automatically assume you will get angry at me and start yelling or creeping if I breathe wrong. And cause a ruckus in public if I tell you to leave me alone. Listen. I won't pretend to know the pros and cons of being a lad. If you don't pretend to know the pros and cons of being a lass. It's complex. It varies per person. And if you have trouble getting in with the entirety of a group of people of the same sx. It's totally on you. Flicking my tit and doing it in front of my husband. Did not end well. Edit. Got a lot of requests for the story. I can't go into a ton of detail because it became an hour and legal issue. Nightmare. But I'll give you an overview. My husband and I were at a going away party at a restaurant for a friend at work. And one of my other work friends was there. At the end of the night. When we walked by and say goodbye to him. He quite literally flicked my tit. I was in complete shock. I can only say that due to this guy's action and my husband's reaction. My husband is no longer allowed at my work. The guy went on unpaid leave for a couple weeks. Not long after that. He got a promotion. While I had been fighting for a year to get a small raise after doubling my workload. Remember. Kiddos. Life is definitely fair. When I show disinterest in the interaction and he continues to be pushy. For example. A guy can come up to me in public and tell me that he thinks I'm beautiful and it's not creepy. But. If I then say thank you and put my earbuds in or go back to my phone and he keeps persisting. It quickly becomes creepy. I think that men really just need to listen to women's cues more. Her body language responses will tell you if she wants you to keep talking to her. Not knowing your audience. Whether something is appropriate or not depends a lot on where you are and who you're with. Something that would be totally appropriate with your buddies can be inappropriate in a mixed social situation. For example. My brother-in-law shared a story about a woman who used her own virginal yeast to brew beer. Would have been an interesting story for some friends at the bar. However. It was super fking creepy at the annual family reunion. Not being able to tell what isn't appropriate is creepy. One night I was walking home at night in a shady part of our city and some drunk guy was walking behind me talking loudly and sometimes directly to me. I stopped to let him walk in front of me. He said you don't need to be scared. That just freaked me out more. He continued walking. But come on. As if telling some stranger not to be scared doesn't ring all the alarm bells. I just posted an ad on Craigslist looking for a roommate. I'm more than happy to post some of the 89 replies I've received from men who think the for rent section of CL is a branch of seeking arrangement. Com. It's been a wild 24 hours. Also I'm scared. Ladies. Please find another way to find roommates. This has been a refking trip. Not respecting personal space boundaries. Coworker. 
Go out with me. Me. I'm only 16. Him. I'm only 26. Age is just a number and that wasn't a no. Our other co-worker. And jail is just a room Sean also don't lie you're 37. Happened years ago. But I basically quit BC he became a manager. Even though every woman on the staff asked to never work with him. Lying about little things is very creepy. You told me your next class is in a different location so you can walk with me? Don't do that. Just say you want to walk with me. So is touching. Like don't just reach out and start playing with my hair if we're standing 3 feet apart and I'm asking you about our assignment. It's weird. Really weird. I think guys forget that women have a genuine concern about assault or even being murdered by men. So with that in the back of our minds when meeting someone new a lot of things can unintentionally come off as creepy. Touching us without our consent. Not necessarily as surely. Just at all. Don't pick lint off my sweater. Don't pat my arm. Do f king not put your hand on my lower back to get by me for fck's sake. If you wouldn't do it to your male co-worker neighbor acquaintance then don't f king do it to us. I am 4 feet 11 and 80 pounds and 23. The other day I was hanging out with a friend and he said to me. When I first saw you I asked someone if it was okay that a child was here. Then. When I found out you were 23. I thought I would like to get to know you. Yeah. Immediately talking about and wanting sx. It's okay to be attracted to someone and think about sx with that person. But you need to dial back on expressing that you feel that way right out the gate. Comments about my race. I'm Indian and the amount of times that a guy has called me exotic is disgusting. Like stop. If you're going to compliment me. At least don't make it about my race or something. It would make my day if same guy said hey nice jacket. Or I think you look nice today. Full stop. Also. When I come to complain to you how some other guy is making me feel uncomfortable. Don't invalidate my fears or use the maybe he's just socially awkward. Excuse. I'm coming to you because I'm a bit afraid creeped out and want the support of my friends. I had a guy that I've seen like once in passing in my work building stare my car down when he saw me get into it today. So. That. When they come into a space where women are talking about their experiences with men. Or the person I saw in this very thread going yeah but men are much more likely to be killed by men. Also. A woman got scared when I was running outside and was coming up on her so she crossed the road. What does it matter that I'm 6 feet 2 and go to the gym? How is that not sism? Too many men who what about and well actually don't seem to actually care about issues of. Say. Male are pay or suicide or murder except when it can be used as a gotcha against women. Using the word females. It's a red flag every time. This is why I always refer to women as utero Americans. Just cut all the bullshit and be honest. Creepy equals unattractive. Sure. But behavior can certainly make you unattractive. Not following social etiquette in really bad ways. The other day I was working out at the gym and was doing exercises that required me to squat and bend over when I noticed this older foreign man staring at me. I looked at him then looked away. Every time I had to look in his direction he was just there watching me. Eventually I got annoyed and asked him if I could help him with anything. He said no and just kept staring. I could physically feel him watching me and it made me so uncomfortable I just stopped my exercise and went home. It felt so gross and slimy. Intense. Lingering eye contact for no particular reason. Lying to everyone that you are into him even if it's the exact opposite. Msturbating on the bus. That's how I met my wife. Hot take. Almost anything when it's not coming from a guy she's attracted to. When guys tell you a long list of what they are looking for in a partner yet possess none of these qualities themselves. Or have anything to offer in return. Okay dude. Good luck with that. I'll put it this way. There is no such thing as the friend zone. There is only the you won't take no for an answer. 
and I'm too scared you will verbally or physically attack me if I am any more blunt about it. Zone. Or for some guys.